Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, 1971 Rover P5B, 3.5 litre, um, in grey with uh, burgundy leather interior. Um, nice original looking car, really, all round. Everything's in the right place, all the right trims there, chrome's all there. It's had a few bits of paintwork over the years, as you'd expect, given it's now 39 years old. But it's uh, still looking in very presentable shape, actually. All round. Right, let's go around and pick out some uh, good bits and bad bits for you. Starting from the front, chrome on the front bumper is very, very good. A little bit sort of pitted just on the number plates around and stuff, but um, it looks to be the original, um, the original chrome. So... Uh, I guess that's what you expect. Um, same with the light units and things like that. As I say, you know, it's, uh, it's not flaking off or anything, just very slightly pitted here and there and it's not been re-chromed. Um, looking around the bonnet and front wing area, just here to the, uh, on the right hand side, a tiny bit of cracking in the paint here and there, a little bit up there, a little bit of uh, flaking of the paint just around the indicator. Um, on the bonnet, all looks pretty original there. Looks like it, the the, uh, the paint has sort of been polished off on the uh, on the centre raised raised um, swage line on the bonnet, sort of just up the middle there. It uh, looks like the uh, the paint has been uh, <laughs> polished away, um, but otherwise the bonnet is uh, very very good. Um, round the near side indicator unit and round the wing, it's all nice round there. Looking down the near side, all looks. Uh, pretty straight in terms of parking dints and dents down there. Excuse me. Um, the chrome rust styles are very nice on this one actually. Uh, did a bit of pitting here and there but uh, overall they're, uh, they're in good shape. The near side front wing is all good around there. Around the bottom of the, uh, around the arch, that's all nice. Around here, the scuttle it looks good. Screen is nice. I suspect a lot of these do tend to suffer from a bit of water ingress around here, and I suspect this one has done at some time. Um, but uh, no more than that. The roof is nice. There's a couple of areas of a tiny sort of rust spot just there where my finger is. Um, and a bit that's been touched in just there on the centre of the roof, about the size of a thumbnail. Uh, the window... Um, Weather, weather shield rubbers could do with replacing. They're past their best along the there and there on both doors. A bit brittle as well. Near side door has got a sort of very slight um, depression in it just there. You know, it's had a new section perhaps let in or something, but you can just feel a sort of a slight, uh, a slight depression just where my finger is. Um, but the door itself all down there looks, uh, looks good. Inside here, the door card's okay. The bottom of the door feels reasonably solid. I can't get right down there, I'm afraid, but uh, what I can feel feels okay. Um, door cards look good. Interior-wise, it's um, well, it's, it's original. So uh, apart from the front carpets have been replaced with sort of uh, well, it looks like home carpet really. But um, the interior could do with a bit of a freshen up. But it's it is say nice and original. All the headlining's all there. Um, dash the the Wood really needs to be relacquered if you want it absolutely lovely. Um, the trim panel underneath the dash has sort of come away and a bit, uh, a bit manky, especially under the radio and under the glove box there. And as I say about the water ingress, I suspect it's come in here because this feels slightly damp all around the clock. Um, so that's where they do tend to, uh, to get it a bit. Carpet around the centre console is the original and it's a bit, um, a bit sort of worn and tired around, the, uh, around its edge. Um, leather on the passenger seat could do with a refeed, and the, a seam was split just down there um, on the uh, on the squab. But all the other seams are okay. That's all nice there. Uh, door shut with a nice clunk. Near side rear door is all nice. Looking in the back here, once again, nice and original couple of tiny nicks just in the leather just there but otherwise good and the, the seam is just starting to go on that back seat just there but otherwise um I say it's you know nice original not uh, not badly messed about with or anything um just as you'd expect it to be really for its age it's got the uh let's see, 
tray that comes out for the um, for your drinks. Uh, no rear seat belts fitted to this one. Not difficult to fit them in. Um, carrying on round here, the um, near side rear wing is all very nice. Just show you inside the arch there, that's all very, very good. Uh, that's all nice up in the arch there. Near side rear wing, very, very nice. A uh, little bit of staining just around the top here from petrol, but no more than that. Um, the Mazak trim around the, uh, the rear lights is a bit pitted and manky as it always is. Um, boot lid is all good. There is a bit of um, uh, touched in paint, sort of feathered in paint just there, slightly darker colour, but uh, that's not too bad. Rear bumper's quite nice. We've got one area of uh, sort of damage down here just on the corner. Um, breathe in a minute. Um, one area of damage on, in the corner there and the, the rear bumper centre has got a slight dent in it just there. Um, and this corner here, once again, it's got a little bit of tape over it. Obviously, it's started to rust underneath the back of the bumper, but otherwise very, very good. Um, near side rear wing is all very, very nice down there. Looking down the offside, it all looks very straight and true and clean down there. Um, the near side rear wing has got a little bit of uh, crazing and cracking just around the side light repeater just here. Um, but all that looks very, very nice. The seams on the wing tops look good as well. Uh, roof on the near side has probably had a bit of paint just up here. This is very, once again a very, very slightly darker colour, very, very slightly, just there. Um, offside rear door, there's got a bit of uh, rusting just coming up underneath the paint and bubbling just here, but uh, not very much. Um, and inside the arch there, that all looks pretty good. Offside rear seat is all nice and yeah, fine in there. No problems, as is the door card. So the doors do shut with a nice clunk on this one. Um, offside front door, all looks good. Nothing to worry about there. Around the scuttle, it's all good. And the offside front wing is all uh, quite nice as well. So good Rostars on this one as well. Good chrome. Inside on the driver's side, the door card is nice. The door itself is very good. Um, looking at the driver's seat, it's had a little repair down there at some point, as they always have. Otherwise, the driver's seat's very, very nice. Dash is good. Um, it's got the centre armrest. Yeah, there we have it. Nice, um, a nice usable P5B actually. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk. End.